Welcome back, sixth graders. I want to give you a little heads up as we start. I'm at a coffee shop and there's people having a really bad conflict near me, so you might hear them fighting. Try and ignore them. They're having a big person versus person conflict. Okay, try and tune it out. All right, so your directions are to read the following passage. Annotate for each plot part. So you're going to read this, and as you see the exposition, rise in action in the other parts, you're going to mark it up on the paper. Three, answer the questions that follow, and then complete the rage exit ticket. Emma loves to listen to her brother Jake play the guitar. She is five years old and just started ballet, but her favorite thing to do with her free time is watch her older brother play. I hope that I grow up to be as talented as him, she often thought, while admiring his old, worn, wooden acoustic guitar. So I'm going to pause right here because I see details about the setting and the characters, and this is the very beginning of the story. So I see that and know that this is my exposition. So I'm going to annotate exposition, do the same. Also, the exposition may not end here. It may continue even longer, or maybe it, the next line goes right into the rising action. One plot part can be more than just one paragraph. A lot of times they're gonna be many. So now I'm gonna read, you annotate on your paper for the rest of the plot mountain. One day, Emma decided that she did not want to take ballet classes anymore. Okay, pause, so I read this and I know that already my rising action is starting. So I'm gonna annotate there because no longer are we just getting details about setting and character, our actual action in the story is starting to take place. It's getting a little dramatic and suspenseful. Let's keep reading. The rest, I'm not going to tell you. You annotate on your own. Mom, can I take guitar lessons like Jake? She asked. Her mom replied, but Emma, you're so young and it takes a lot of time to practice. Are you sure you could commit to something like that? Emma sprinted up to her room and cried. I'm not allowed to do anything that I want to do, she thought. My parents think I'm just a big baby and they don't understand that I don't even like ballet. Emma's mom heard her tears and came running upstairs to discuss the problem and apologize. Emma explained her feelings and Emma's mother felt so guilty for making her feel that way. After nearly an hour of conversation, Emma and her mother had come to an agreement. Emma would start guitar lessons. So make sure that you have all of these, I'll leave them up on the screen, parts of the plot labeled and annotated. One second. In your text. Put them up right here as you read. Once you have this done, unpause the video and keep going. One, what is Emma's major conflict in the story? Remember another word for conflict is problem. Two, what type of conflict is this? So circle one of these options. And then three, what is one theme in this passage? So what can we learn from this passage? Once you are done, with, pause the video until you've completed those things. Okay, and welcome back. You are now ready for your exit ticket. Which paragraph of the story makes up the exposition? Rage. So because at the beginning I did give you already your A, right? Your answer is paragraph one. But now I want you to make sure that as you're answering it, you of course restate answer and then give evidence from paragraph one that shows it's the exposition and then explain that evidence. Explain what makes whatever your G is the exposition. So in your E, your explain evidence, you're definitely going to want to use your definition of exposition that you have here, or even the one that I have put, or yeah, the one that you have right here. When you are done, take out your independent reading book.